so if you guys remember, um, this is where we left off. I have an animated sprite that basically starts at the left hand side of the screen and makes its way to the right and it repeats. But now in order for this to be an actual game, um, we need to introduce joystick control and that's going to be the focus of this video. This is the non-maskable interrupt portion of my code. I've added a couple of subroutines um, to help with the uh, reading of the joystick ports. The first one is a subroutine called read ports. The other new subroutines are one called manage player motion and this decides whether the player is like walking, falling, or jumping. And then the third new subroutine is one called manage character position and this basically uh, adjusts the X and Y position of the sprite. All right, let's try her out. All right, so this is what I'm going to try it with. This is like uh, essentially a Genesis knockoff controller um, from Hypebricken. Okay, so I'm going to go right, which seems to work. Now, one thing um, that's not ideal is right now he's standing completely still, um, but he's still animating his leg movements, so we'll have to fix that. And I predict we're going to have another problem over here. I'm going to go left and he moves left but he's not changing direction that's because I haven't designed the um, the next three sprite frames for leftward movements so we'll uh, we'll do that and come back I might have said before that I'm an old school guy here's a case in point I'm using pen and paper in order to do the sprites so the one here on the left hand side um, is already in the code this is uh, animation frame zero for the sprite and now I want to be able to make um, some left hand side so I'm going to basically manually mirror this and then figure out uh, the sort of the bits and bytes associated with it. Alright, uh, quick update here I finished manually entering the mirror image of the sprite and below this is the sequence of bytes in order to program it. I've added um, the sprite data uh, to the program. Let's see how this compiles. Alright, so here's the net result. We're able to uh, do both directions and it animates properly from what I can tell. Now what you'll notice is there um, I, I should be falling and I shouldn't be able to walk through walls. So that's something that we're going to address on the next episode.